Hey everyone, Queen Nala here. Welcome to a video that I love to do every year, but it takes an arm and a leg to do it. Today's video is my Lion King collection 2016. Basically, if you're new to my channel, every year I pull everything out in my collection and I show you guys it. Hopefully one by, not one by one, but you know, you get to see quite a lot of it. So as we're going to normally do it, I'll start from the left and work my way around and show you guys other things. And some things I won't show you because I'll be showing you it later properly, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys stick around, I think it will be a lengthy video and don't forget to like if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're excited for this. I have my poster I got from a Disney a Disney Junior mag when it first aired. Uh, these things I cut out of a magazine for whatever reason. I did have Fully Best Day but they ripped off. And this little Simba is from a pre-mark tag um, of one of the clothes. Here I have my Kiara poster, my friend got me um, this Lion Guard poster which did get a little bit ripped. Also from a Disney Junior mag. Um, these came from the Disney store. A lovely cast member gave me these for nothing because um, it was a event happening at the Disney store. Um, my lithograph I just decided to stick on the wall. My pyjama cases, my adult Simba, my Pumba and my cub Simba down here at the back. He was one of the first things I got in my collection and these eyes always go a bit wonky and he still has the tag. Um, I have some jigsaws now. This is ones I got from charity shops and stuff. And this is my little Easter bucket I got a few years ago, which has Simba and Nala in it, and I keep my uh, my ball in there. I've had this like four years, and I'm surprised it's like still standing and still in like one shape. Um, I have my metal Simba's Pride bin, and I have my Kiara umbrella as well. And I have some more jigsaws there. And up here I have um, some towels. I have my Simba one, my Kiara one, and my new Lion Guard one, this is the design on it. Um, now I'm just going to go and pull out half the things in these bags. So this is my Lion King musical bag. Um, I didn't get it from the musical, I actually got it from a charity shop. And in it is some things I've printed out um, a few years ago now. Um, from Disney Movie Rewards. It's no longer like a thing in the UK. Um, this is like a buffy kind of thing. You can make a smoothie, bugified. And some bookmarks. And I do have another one, I think. Somewhere. I'm sure I did. Probably not. I thought... Oh, no. It's, there's Simba and Scar in there as well, but I can't remember pulling these out. Um, the script, my friends, kindly brought me back from a convention in Glasgow. And um, that's Oliver and Company. I don't know why that's in there. Um, my Lion King Lady Bird book. Huge Lion King book. Uh, let's see. What else have we got in here? This Lion King book is actually like a comic strip book, which is pretty neat. And I have this colouring book I brought back from holiday a few years ago. Um, it does have Simba and stuff in it somewhere. It's the reason why I bought it. It was like half price in a pound shop, which, you know, is a bargain, I guess. Uh, it's really hard. The papers are actually so thin on this book. Um, there we go. There is some more, but it's going to be a pain in the neck to actually let you guys see. Um, this one has got like a scratchy cover and it's a new one. I think this one came out this year, or 2015. Um, Bunga the Wise. This Lion King book. And let's see. I have this bag, which was like a special edition one for IMAX. And it's just yellow and it says Lion King and IMAX. I can't really get it out. I just buy something else in here. I have this uh, party bag I bought, I think it was just like from a normal news agent, so I can't remember how much it cost, but it has Simba, Timon and Pumbaa on there, and I think that's all from that bag, so I'm just going to show you guys my other bags now. I also found this uh, Ladybird book in the bag as well, and another bag I have, uh, this one was originally from Primark, my Primarks never stocked this, so someone kindly sold it to me for retail. And it says Hakuna Matata on there and has Simba, Timon and Pumbaa. More bags. I have this huge shopper from Primark. This is like a kind of weekend kind of bag where if you're going away you just put a couple of things in it. That's a backpack. That's a makeup case or a pencil case. This is a little bag you can take out. It's a shopper bag and this is a lunch bag. I originally got it at um, the car boot sale like the first year it opened. So this puzzle means a lot to me. I have this reader which comes with the Lion King and another couple puzzles and I have even more around here. Um, my Lion Guard ones and this little <laughs> one I don't like because of the um, 
you know, in a picture. So moving on up here, I have um, like this line guard thing that comes with a little drawing thing, I guess. Um, my Upendi music box, and I have jewellery in here. Um, I have Kiara rings, Kiara earrings. Um, if I can get them out. Some more Kiara earrings. I can't even see what I've got in here. Oh, and stuff's been <laughs> attached to other, st other stuff. Just bear with me a second and I'll untangle this. Okay, so since that's all of that entangled, I have a Kovu clasp or a brooch, whatever one you want to call it. Um, Simba necklace I got from a car boot sale a few years ago. I love how I just sorted this and it's already tangled itself. But anyway, just the other thing here is a Kovu and Kiara necklace. Really lovely. And I have my charm bracelet I bought from eBay a few years ago and it only cost me 99 pence and I was really happy. Um, it has Nala, Simba, Timon and Pumbaa and Zazu on there. Can't really flip them over, a bit hard to work. Um, I'll just put these back before I lose them. I also have a Kiara ring that my friend also got me. I love how, there we are. I also have this book and some other little books. These were originally from a Disney store. And this one there, and that little Simba tag also is from uh, Primark clothes. So we're moving on to my first bookcase. Well, this is my new bookcase, but my first one I'm showing you guys. I'll show you guys what's at the top later. I have like my Disney parks, Mufasa and Simba, and loads of Langar plushies in a box. But I'll show you guys them later, and also talking Kion's up there at the back. Um, I moved most of my ornaments. These are like the smaller ones that were in my cabinet, but I moved up here. Um, up the back there I have my Simba's Pride frame and my Groiler ornaments and my Hallmark keepsakes. There's my Sarabi frame and other little ornaments there and they're falling over but they're keychains. My Simba mugs, my musical ornaments, another Hallmark, my new frame, my Simba and Nala one. Uh, this limited edition set that my friend kindly gave me and some more things and Simba Vinylmation broke but... Uh, I need to get another one. <laughs> These are the Funko Mystery Minis and for my second shelf at the back it's mostly books. Um, it's like a Lion King memory game. I have napkins, plates and cups. My Simba's Pride book, Simba and the Big Flood, my plate, Simba and I'll help Bomo and a Lion King one. I have my stationery set I got when I bought my Simba water bottle cover. I have these light up and sound Simba and Pumbaa Sum Sums. Uh, my McDonald's figures. Oh, Simba's falling over there at the back. Some other little mixture of figures there. And my Sum Sums and my new Simba one that originally came in the advent calendar but I got it separate. And some other little figures. Mostly my Langard shelf now. I have my figure sets there. And I have like my busy book, my CD, my pin, my memory game. And this is a birthday card that's kind of lost its place. That's a birthday card. <laughs> Um, my deluxe figure set that I did take out of the box that I feel like it's better out of the box and Arnold oh no, keeps falling over, I lent him on bestie. My blind bag figures, oh my god, how many have actually fallen over here? Um, I have series 2 and 3 to my complete, I don't bother with like the rare ones. Um, so I have my series 2 ones there and then going on to my series 3 ones. I love and then I have my sketchbook ornament Kion and my Hallmark ornament Kion and a Disney Infinity desk I got from game for 50 pence. Uh, moving on we have some more Lion Guard stuff and Lion King. I have a Simba sponge, I have my Bestie and Maku set, my Bunga and Ray Ray set. That's a little manicure set from Remark. Um, the little mini set and my bath toys I got from a Disney store. Now there's like cups and water bottles and that's a mirror. That's like a little baby manicure set. My Kovu and Kiara purse. Um, this is a new cup from a Disney store which is blue but you know it's exactly the same. Um, these are like tweezers and nail files from Primark. And some more cups. I have my Kion ones and my Kion with the little one at the bottom. And my Kovu pencil case which actually has stationery in it. Uh, that's the lid off the limited edition set. I haven't found anywhere to put it. Just 
to let you guys know I still have it. Um, Puzzle, which originally came a magazine, a Return of the Roar book, my Bunga, Bestie and Kion Battle Brawlers, my little figures, uh, action figures, which you press the button and they move. I need Bunga and Bestie. My plate and little fork and spoon. And at the bottom here, this is just like a mixture of stuff. I have my little musical flyer, uh, paint and colour thing. I have books at the back. I have my little Simba and Nala wash mitt. Simba's on the other side. I have some CDs, Best of the Lion King, my Simba Surprise Story, Taylor, and there's like another one there and another one there. My little Simba Surprise Stationery set, my Lion Guard Bully Land figures, my um, like pencil case from the musical, and my Simba Surprise Money Bank. Moving on to some things in the corner, we have um, this jigsaw. I originally picked up early last year at a charity shop and it's still sealed in the original film. Um, some more jigsaws there and Simba flip flops I bought from Primark a few months ago, I think it was some point in the summer. And this little jigsaw here. Here I have my lamp. I know many people love this in my collection, um, which I got nearly three years ago now. You press the button and it sings Hakuna Matata and Simba pulls the lever and it lights up. And sadly these don't project, which would have been cool, but they just kind of silhouette their thing. My clothes, I'll be showing you guys later because there's too many to go through, so I'll leave that for near the end of the video. Some more jigsaws now. That was my first Simba's Pride one. And I have this one, that one, and that's a game. And that is one I picked up recently, my Lion Guard puzzle and one of my other original ones. I have this frame a uh, carry case here, which I'll be showing you guys what's in it because there's a lot to show you guys. This carry case, I keep most of my thinner books and Lion Guard um, mags and sticker albums. In here, I have a few things. I have the Simba's Pride game for, I don't even remember putting that in there. My Lion King Legacy Collection CD. Um, I have some more. My Activity Center game, my Game Break game, and this promotional CD with a couple of songs from the Lion King in it. Okay, I think that's all in there. Um, this was a promotion in one of the magazines. I think it was one of the first ones. My Lion Guard sticker album, which I have almost complete. Um, I just need a few more stickers. I think I need like 15 or something. But it's... Um, I think you can still get the stickers for it anyway. If not, I'll just buy them from Panini. But it's almost complete. And it's one of the magazines that I put a lot of effort into. Because I've never in my life completed a sticker magazine. And that was my main reason. I was like, okay, it's Lion Guard. I really, really need to complete it. So it's almost there. And I'll show you the little thing at the back. I have all these ones. And I think I only need a few from the inside. Um, so yeah, I've almost completed it. I just need L24 by the look of it. Which is that one there. And then I've completed my sticker album. Oh, and I thought I'd let you guys know I spotted this on US Amazon so you can always order it for yourself or anybody in the US since you guys don't have it. Moving on, I have this like bath time puzzle where you just stick the things to the wall. I have this Lion King book which is like the 2011 version of their wonderful World of Reason reading song, uh, books even. I have these 1000 stickers and it comes with like activities and stuff of the Lion Guard. Um, the stickers are pretty small, they're not like, they're like that but... We need to continuously get a bit bigger to do with the activities. Um, I have this one, which is a different cover. Uh, this Lion Guard Magical Storybook. And I love the um, concept, well not concept art, but you know, the book art of this. Um, it looks really nice. And Simba looks a bit like Simba in it. So that's that one. I have this Magical Storybook that I got from the pen shop a little while ago. Uh, my stick and lift Lion King book, which is not being touched, like the stickers are still in the stickery bit, and it has like stickers of Simba, Mufasa, Sarabi, Nala, and stuff, and animals, which is pretty cool. And there's even a little colouring thing at the back. Then I have my Simba's Pride version, which is even rarer to find, and it has discoloured Zeras and Vitanis and Nukas. And now in there and some Outlanders and at the back it has some more some more Kiara and Kovu and adult Kiara and Kovu and then it has a little colouring thing at the back as well. 
but I want to show you guys this little thing what I spotted. Um, this book, they obviously were hoping for um, a sequel. So if you guys want to pause and read that little part, um, so you guys can see like what I mean. So, moving on to my Lion Guard magazines. This is the latest issue, which comes with a Lion Grabber. I've just decided to keep them in the little packet now, instead of separating them. I'm also going to be uploading the comics um, eventually. Um, I'm starting with my Lion Guard books that I've not already uploaded. And this one's about the guard. And there's a poster. I can't remember what issue it is. But I love it. I love that one. It says Death's New Roars. There's a lot of good posters in here as well. This was November's issue, I believe. Um, they do come with like, lots of good activities and stuff. The next one's out on Thursday. Or tomorrow, I guess, I think. I don't know. I'm completely mixed up with the dates. In fact, hang on. When does that say? 12. Oh, it comes out tomorrow. Great. I can get it tomorrow. Um, after work. So, yeah. I'm kind of get the gist. I'm just trying to find posters. There's one I really like. And I think it's a few issues away. And then it's the one, this is the one before that. And that's the one before this. And, you know, it's just going to get a bit repetitive. Um, and there, each issue comes with, like, little stickers and stuff. Just to do with the activities. Um... I always enter the competitions and never win. <laughs> there we go. You know, it shows you a little bit. And then there's another one. It's, each issue comes with a comic, like, apart from one. So, oh, this is the one I like. It says, We're Family, but I don't want to... I'll show you guys like that. I love that one. I kind of wish if I had another issue, I could have um, took one out and displayed it. Uh, this is another one. We're kind of nearing the end now. I think this is the last one, actually. I'm not sure. I, no, I think there's a couple more. And it just keeps going. I have too many issues. I think it's side of May, so you can kind of tell how many issues there actually are. Because um, there was Disney Presents, and then there was like their own version of it. And some more stickers. And then... At the start, I noticed that the um, issues, the comic seems to be the same, and this was the first one that came out, so congrats, we've made it through so many issues. Um, this one I got, it came with the sticker album, came with stickers, and it came with a couple extras as well to kind of promote it, and this was back in May, and this was the one after the first one, which is, for some reason, it's there. This didn't have a comic in it, this one was kind of an arts and craftsy one. Um, so that's that one, and I have Lion Guard sticker scenes. Where, you know, you just stick the stickers on the faces and stuff. Um, can't wait to be queen. This was the UK version that came out. I bought this from ASDA. I can't even get it out. It's really big. Um, the pictures are different. Well, the pictures are the same, but uh, there's no stickers in this version. There's that one. And then I have my little colouring thing I got from Poundland um, back in the summer. Play pack. My original Lion King sticker album, which I have almost completed. It, also, it came nearly completed anyway. But I only need like a couple more stickers. Well, not a couple more. Quite a lot of stickers to complete it. But um, the book actually came with like, tons of doubles anyway. That I went through and... There wasn't any I needed. And this is the original Lion Guard book that came out back in 2015. Um, I got mine from Amazon. It was one of the things I was kind of looking forward to. Because there wasn't really much to look forward to back then. And I still love looking at the art in this. It is so lovely. There's that one. And then I have this Lion King colouring in thing from the Disney store. This is an older Disney store release. And uh, this is the other version of Can't Wait to Be Queen that comes with stickers. And I have some Nala earrings in here for some reason. And <laughs> last but not least in this case, if I can get it out, I have a big colouring book. This has mostly been done, but at the same time, the person who coloured it in did a really, really lovely job. And it has some scenarios from the film and just, it's mostly characters. There's a look through it for you guys. I love that one. So yeah, congrats, we've made it through a lot of magazines and books. 
Okay, so when this balloon gets out of my face, these are the plushies I didn't put on my bed because when you guys see my bed properly, there is no room for much. And so inside my cupboard here is the smaller beanies, like my Outlanders, and some Disney store sets and some other plushies and my Just Plays back there and stuff. And then down here, um, I have some more <laughs> random ones, um, like other Disney store sets and kissing ones and Gemini ones and stuff. So that's the two that aren't. Next I have my Jumbo Mufasa plush who I got recently. And he still has his tags and he has his little Kai on hat here. This was like a cast member exclusive for when the series came out here in the UK. My Lion Guard balloon which has become a little bit inf inflated I guess. But it's still really nice. Um, moving on to down here. A couple more bags. Um, my Kai on one. My Simba's Pride one. And then in this one is my Simba's bag. And this one holds even more books. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I have my Leap and Roar Kion I got from my aunt for my birthday and some more frames. I have this really nice one, just four pictures. I got that one from a car boot sale. And then behind there is a Simba one, but I'll show you guys that later. And I have a little Simba backpack. <laughs> it's just laying down there. Bag I got from Matalan a few years ago. It pretty much holds all of my books that are not already in my cupboard um, or in my bookcase. So first off, we have Unlikely Friends. Billy finds her place, Eye in the Sky, this Lion, Guard Lady, uh, Lion King Ladybird book, I have a couple smaller ones, Playtime with Simba and this Lion King one, Simba's Pride Ladybird book, a read along, the CD is hiding but it is there. I have this one, most of these I did get from the car boot sale and the works and stuff, this one's from the works, this is like a newer version, and this Animal Friends book which has stickers in it. This one I got for my Christmas one year. This one from a charity shop. Um, I do have another one you saw earlier. One was from B&M and one was from a charity shop. I have this Lion King paddle ball thing. You'll see more um, on my bed when I show you guys that later. This book and CD. This massive hardback book. And this one, if you guys notice, it doesn't take that long to get through it like last year because... Like I said, I have got most of them displayed. And this one I got when HMV actually shut down and I really like the feel of the puffiness of the colour and in there, I'm not going to bring it out, but it's books and CDs and stuff. So that's my books that aren't displayed. I'm on my bed, I'll start over here. I have my electronic uh, Thinkway game from Simba's Pride and it still works, which is pretty neat. I'm Kiara. I'd love to try and find one out of the box so I could actually play it. Um, I'm not sure where to put this. I have um, stick um, cards, I should say, which the original Skybox ones, and it's sets complete. I got this like three years ago from eBay. When I'm saying this, it's actually quite crazy how long I have been collecting for. Um, it only feels like I've been collecting for a few months, really. But that's just how it goes. And then this is series two. I'm just kind of skipping through the pages. These are cards from Morrison's. I'm just missing um, Pumba. These are like 10th anniversary cards and some, uh, that's also one of the ones from that set and these are some Sarabi cards as well. Um, that's a Simba throw but I'll show you guys that later properly. Um, another paddle ball and a green one. Um, socks I got for Christmas a few years ago now, um, originally from Primark. And I'll move this out of the way. Um, a supply kit from a Disney store, Lion Guard, which has like pencils and stationery and stuff in it. Um, lunch bag, which still has the tags, which is a bit crushed, but still has the tags. And it's really lovely. And Simba's 3D ears. I have a book, you press the buttons and, you know, it makes noises. Um, another little jigsaw puzzle case. I have some socks. I have much more socks. They're just in the wash or something. I don't know. These ones in this set. It's set of three and some Primark tights. Um, the Lion King from Edinburgh. The brochure thing. I have this um, thing. Poster, I guess. Um, this Lion King action figure game. The mouse pads with Simba on it. Uh, one of the things from the magazine, another thing from the magazine, 
and another thing from the magazine and the lids just fell off. Uh, this read along originally from McDonald's. Uh, this Lion King musical, um, I don't know what you call them, like a playbill or something program. I have that, I have this kind of book from the Disney store, the on the run set I guess you could call it. And you can move the things, you, know, you can turn it from day to night. It has like stickers, pens, pencils, and you can draw, you can do dot to dot, you can colour and stuff. It's a really nice little place there. I don't know if they still sell it, I think they do. Um, a magazine that I think, I can't remember why, I think it was something to do with the TV show, why I kept it. So we'll have a, yeah, this is when we first got the date for the TV show, I wasn't sure and I saw it and I was like, oh my god. So we got the first episode in April in 2016 and the next pages are a couple little stuff. So there's that one. And I got this colouring in book, like the covers kind of came off, but like I don't use it that much anyway. I only coloured a few pages, this originally came with pencils, this came out early 2016. Um, I've coloured a few <laughs> bits of it, but I didn't really continue with the rest. Some patterns just got like a bit too complicated and it's really nice. It's a shame there's not like a proper like book you can buy. This is like a magazine. One came out every month. Like one month it was Frozen, one month it was Lion King, next month it was Tinkerbell and then it just kind of stopped there. It was such a shame. I didn't even manage to collect the um little baking Disney sets because I didn't even know you could get Lion King ones. And that's it. And then the one after that was Tinkerbell. So move that to the side now. I have these Sun Sun sticker books which have like the Lion King set in them. And it was on sale. That was the only reason why I really bought it. Um, yeah, so there's most of the stickers. There was Scar and there's Timon and Mufasa. It was like on sale for like one ninety nine or something. That was the only reason why I bought it or else I wasn't going to. Um, Lion King for Leap Pad. I have this CD my dad got me from a charity shop, which has Lion King on it. Um, it's like a puzzle book, Lion Guard, which, you know, it's really nice. It's just quite really short, as it's like a first little kids one. Um, my Kovu hat there. I have this read along, which has the brightest star on it. It's like a Christmas kind of version, but really nice anyway. I'll probably take scanning the book but the only thing is I can't get the audio. Um, Around the World Timon and Pumbaa DVD, On Holiday with Timon and Pumbaa DVD, Sing Along Songs, another little random jigsaw. Uh, the Blu-ray of The Lion King which comes in a slip cover. Diamond Edition DVD, Lion King 3 DVD, Lion King 2, another little book. Uh, my two disc edition of The Lion King Musical. Unleashed the Roar DVD, the new one comes out in February. Return of the Roar DVD, a book and CD, this is a clock. Um, the box kind of got a bit wrecked, but hey ho. And I have an Explore Simba book, and I forgot I had these until I found them. Um, these were Simba's Pride napkins I originally got from a car boot sale for nothing because they didn't have like, the original cellophane on them. But they're so lovely, and I never knew there was much Simba's Pride Party things to start with. Um, I have the trilogy on Blu-ray, which comes in this little box. Um, a pencil case, which has beads inside it. And this Hakuna Matata musical bag. So that's everything on my bed. And now we'll move over to my biggest book, well, not my biggest bookcase, but <laughs> the bookcase with the most on it, I guess you can call it. Uh, my Slinky Kiara, my Kissing Just Play Simba, Nala, my Pearl and Grill Simba, my Little Giraffe, and my Slinky Kovu. Um, up here it has different things on it, so let me just, you know, start this. Um, I have earphones and Six New Adventures, loads of mugs, and they have the little McDonald's puppets in them. Um, Zaji's fallen down a bit, but he is there too. Um, that's a Lion Guard watch back there. Um, stationaries, and I have my Lion Kings on video at the back. Um, got my pen, my keychain. My Simba mug. These are making a comeback to the Disney store, by the way, or in Disneyland Paris. You can buy them there. Simba finger puppet. I have another little pencil there of that little Simba. My um, 
bath bottle thing and that's the same disc you saw earlier it's just I have to um another little Nala tin which has a little plush perfume and I have my Simba mug and um, my hand puppet and I keep my blind bag things there then I know um this is what you could basically call my Simba's pride shelf I guess but there's some non Lion King things there and uh, non Simba's pride I have a stationery set my bank these little Nestle toys which never set a piece I have stamps my Simba sum sum and my Mufasa sum sum squishy and Kieran and Kovu cups which have Kieran and Kovu magnets in them um, my Simba wikis keychains and a random Zazu figure don't know where he came from but he's there um more keychains games a random Simba figure my Hakuna Matata keychain my American roosters or red rooster that's what it's called Kara sponge cards keychains and I have stickers at the back and my Kara what I uh, think we thing um my Simba and Nala book things I don't know what you call them I never seem to remember and I have a necklace of Simba's pride that I can't really get out because it's underneath Nala um so double set which comes with Kiara on there and a little Kiara neck uh, bracelet as well bookends that's what you call them Simba Nala bookends so I have my books behind here Lion King Simba's pride one and a half and Simba Nala uh, Simba runs away from Pumba runs away from home Simba the fortune teller I have my little Christmas Simba mugs pencil cases these are like little race cars at the back you can't really make them out my commemorative coin jungle babies little set my family has bro set pens quiz quest and my little mufasa and sarabi ornament in the game down here is mainly figures and at the back cds um i have my mini pride rock play set my once upon a time one and figures at the back there, these are like the fuzzy figures. I have the set in the box, um, bath toys, toothbrush holders. These are like Russian dolls, which are pretty cute. And some random figures there, and a random Kion who I just keep there for the sake of it. Um, down here at my back, I well, at the back of these, I keep like books and the these are the special edition DVDs at the back there. And there are some read along ones. I have like pencil toppers, erasers of Simba, um, Pumba and Scar, Simba to Moon figures, and these original baby toys which have Mufasa and Sarabi in them. Uh, my 2011 figures, followed by my older ones, micro ones, and these are little bath toys you wind up. And some other little random figures here, like my some of my Burger King ones. Down here, there's a mixture of everything. I have like one of my old phone cases, and I have the newer and older set of Pez, and I have the Simba and the tin. I have key rings and a little Simba bobble, little mini just play toys, and I have quite a lot of pins now. Um, I love collecting pins, but some of them are really expensive, but you can get really cheap ones. I have my Funko Pops here, my whole set of them. These are retired and really rare now. They cost quite a lot of money. I've seen Scar go for like £40. And um, my Fisher Price one, little keychains, and my McDonald's Simba Spray plushies. So that's another bookcase done and dusted. Now moving on to the top of my cabinet, I have my Pride Rock playset. We're up the top, I pretend it's the presentation of Kiara. And I have Timon, Pumba, Sarabi, Mufasa and Simba, Kiara and Kovu. Zazu and Rafiki. And now here at the back I have my musical Simba, my Mufasa Sarabi and Simba one. These are just normal ceramics. These are the Simba's Pride set and this one's originally from a musical ornament. This one's a brittle ornament and these are just normal ceramics. Then here I have my new snow globe. Um, one of my bigger ones and um, a couple of sketchbook ornaments. I have my 2014 Timon and my 20th anniversary Simba. WDCC Simba and some other little ceramics. Um, down here I have my Disney traditions and I have my new ornament, my um, A King is Born one. And my other new one, Hakuna Matata and my little Mufasa plate there at the back and my WDCC Nala. And at the bottom we have a Disney traditions I Can't Wait to Be King, my musical ornament, um, well, my musical snow globe, Carefree Cohorts Disney tradition, 
Ceramic Sim uh, Mufasa and my um, Rafiki sketchbook. The reason I kept like my bigger ones in here is obviously the smaller ones take up too much room if there's too many. So my plan is to get some bigger ornaments and fill this one up. Now moving on to what's probably the biggest plush pile. Um, like I've got my cushions, my hyenas, scar, my zebra. I have two of these Nala's. One's like that damaged, I can't sell her. Um, and I have my Jumbo Kion, my adult Simba and Nala's. Some little random Simbas down there. My Pumba. My Douglas. My Gemini's and other little random stuff. I'll just stand back here and I'll zoom in a bit so it's a bit easier for me. There's my Gemini Kovu, Kiara, my Sarabu Baby Simba, Gemini Simba, my purring ones, my Simba's Pride ones. Um, there's a Kiara and Kovu in there somewhere. And um, my Disney Park ones. Then I have my Lion Guard ones, my Disney Store ones are there. The ones kind of running from that side are Posh Paws. Um, those ones are Disney Swords. Bonga's at the back. My limited edition Simba my aunt got me for my birthday. My Jumbo Nala. And that's Jumbo Simba in there. Originally from the Disney Store. So I'll zoom in a bit now. I have my lovely adult Simba. Um, there's Disney Store Bonga. My Disney Store Pumba. Um, my Hasbro Singin Simba. Then I have... Um, my Disney Park, my Walt Disney World ones, Mufasa, Sarabi, Adult Nala, Adult Simba, Scar, Cub Nala and Simba. Um, there's a Hasbro Simba in there. Um, my Adult Simba and Nala. And then up here I have my older Walt Disney World Rafiki. A Hasbro Simba and I have my two Nalas and Disney Store Simba in there. So that's the bigger plushies also. You've seen smaller ones there. Just so I could make like proper room because I didn't want to overflow it and then I'd completely be out of room. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can pick any. That's a Mufasa and Simba. Um, that's my Love and Lex Nala with Kiara. Slay my Langar plushies. And I have more plushies to show you guys anyway because I'll be bringing them all down. And my Zebra. So yeah, that's my plushies. Those first and I'll throw them away to the side. Um, this jumper I got from Primark and it has like matching trousers with it. You can't really see them because of the way I've put them over the coat hanger. But um, haven't worn them yet, but really lovely. Uh, next I have this jacket I got a while ago. It's at the wrong side as well. Flip that over. It's like a bomber jacket. And it has Simba, Nala and Pumba there. And it has loads of other Disney characters on it as well. This t-shirt got from Primark. And I don't really wear it anymore. This one I got from the musical. It says The Lion King Edinburgh. It's way too big for me now but um, it's really nice. This one is also from Primark. Like most of my clothes it's going to get really repetitive. It kind of stuck a little bit. Um, probably the first thing I bought from Primark uh, Lion King wise. This one got not that long ago, haven't wore it yet, but I really love the picture of Simba and Mufasa. This one is the wrong way, this is the one I picked up the other day. Um, Hakuna Matata, haven't wore it yet either, but probably I will at some point. I think I've just pulled these off the hanger the wrong way. Um, this one I also got from Primark, wore it like as a pyjama shirt to be honest. Um, oh, they're falling apart. I have this one that says no worries, how can I tata and has Simba on it. Uh, this is a jumper. I wear it quite a lot. Also from Primark, an older one. Probably my favourite jumper from Primark. This hoodie says how can I tata. And that it's got I've worn it that much, it's gotten way too big for me, but they don't do it anymore so I can't replace it. This one needs a good iron, but it says never forget who you are, the Lion King, even though it's the wrong quote. Um this one is probably my favourite one, like my favourite t-shirt. has all the characters on it. and um, They don't do this one anymore, but I was really glad to find it in my Primark because I really wanted it. We better just fluffing all these around. Um, I've only wore this once, this Lion King one. Um, I normally wear them all as PJs to be entirely honest, that's why they look a bit crushed. But anyway, this one was cheap as well, I think I got it reduced to £2. Um, 
this a kind of metal one there's also like a peachy version as well uh, this one a kind of metal that's like a crop top but don't wear it you just kind of keep it there because it looks nice uh, this one was not from Forbidden, uh, not Forbidden Planet. Where's that coming from? Uh, from Primark. This was originally from Forever 21 and it has Simba or Mufasa. I don't really know. I think it's maybe Simba. Um, another t-shirt says Hakuna Matata and this one was also from Primark. And this isn't a pyjama shirt. Um, this is my Langard t-shirt I got from Redbubble. It says Langard and it has like the cape paint in. It was really nice. It cost like £16 but really worth it. And now moving on to the pyjamas. Um, I have my Simba onesie I got from Primark. I haven't seen these around. I don't think they do them anymore. They were really popular and they sold out really quickly as well. Um, also has a tail. There we go. And these were originally £16 but sadly I haven't seen them around anymore. But probably on eBay but they're like double the price. Um... I have loads of pyjamas. Don't make me roar. I have this one with Simba's face on them. These are trousers that go along with something. Uh, these trousers. And I have shorts. Um, These go along with like a big fluffy jumper. Let's see. This one says roar on it. This is like a night shirt. It says a little bit wild. It's like a vest top. How can I And these are like the ones that go with it. I don't really buy the pyjamas anymore to be entirely honest. Um, I'm working on my Roar. This one I got for Christmas, not the white one, this one. So that's for Christmas. Um, and we have a shirt that says I Rule. We have these pyjama bottoms, Simba's face on them. And these are, well this is a fluffy one, I don't buy the fluffy ones either anymore. This one says Roar. And then we have Simba there. And then... I have this Lion King one. You know, it is a jumper, like a PJ one, but I wear it all the time, to be honest. And it has, like, Timon, Simba, Pumbaa, and Mufasa, and Zazu on the sleeve. And it says Lion King, and has a little Simba there, and the sleeve's the same. And I know for a fact I need to turn this the other way, because it's inside out. There we go, that's that one. I really like the pattern on it, because it's, like, Cub Simba inside Adult Simba. But it's a really nice pattern. I forgot I had this guy. I thought I had everything, and I seen him, like... Beside my wardrobe, like folded up. Uh, this is my cutout of Simba I got a few years ago, and he doesn't really sit up anymore. I just have him folded because I've got nowhere to display him. But he's really lovely. Now moving on to the things you didn't see very well, um, I have my Simba photo frame, my Purr and Grill Simba still in the box, and my giraffe finger puppet still in the box. My Disney Parks Mufasa and Simba, who I absolutely adore. They're so big. And I think they still sell them, but I haven't, I've been told they're not being in Disneyland Paris for a while, but they're really lovely. Kiara and Kovu Slinky still in the box. My Just Play Kissing Simba Nala, my aunt got me for my birthday a few years ago. Really lovely. And I'd love to find these guys out of the box. My talking Kion, when you press his button he lights up and talks and stuff. There's also a new version of him. He sings Kion's Lament. Um, he's in Toys R Us in America right now, I believe. But he's really, really cute. This is also the throw I got from Primark. Um, they've been quite hard to find, but they're so soft and really lovely. And it now sits on the bottom of my bed. And the last thing, this big Langard box filled with lots of plushies. The box I got from Smith's. Um, I have my Posh Posh plushies. These ones there. Um, my Toto is Just Play. Kiara's Just Play. Bully's Just Play. Um, and that Kion is just play, so is um, that Nala and Simba. This fully is just play, but she talks, but she's also made by Flair, so Flair added the talking. Um, this Kion down here also talks, and the same with this bestie here. So guys, now that you've seen everything in my collection, um, <laughs> I am so relieved this only takes like half an hour to record, not even that, because if I had to do this like every day, I would cry. Um, so guys, thank you so much for a wonderful year in 2016. I've gained so many support and I hit 500 and 750 subscribers and that is just a crazy amount. Um, also for you guys who've tuned in every week to my reviews and other videos, thank you guys so much. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's really 
long requested and one of my favourite videos to do. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video. It shows me that you really love this and I love sharing with, it, with you guys my collection anyway. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot more coming in 2017. So see you guys later. Bye!